Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the questions also in the email from one of the viewers is about Windows Security App and its ability to protect on the web uh, with, of course, its uh, um, you know web protection and what type of web protection does it give. And the question comes because there's a lot of antivirus products out there that will actually tell you and uh, focus on the fact that they have enhanced web protection and so on. Uh, when Windows Security does have security, but we don't really talk about any web protection and, and, and what it actually adds to the protection. And of course, the question will come also in a second question of, well, you know, maybe those products are better than Windows Security. So if we talk in terms of protection itself, remember that what you do is what will define protection. It's extremely important to understand that. Uh, too many people think that the antivirus is there to protect you, uh, when in reality, you're protecting yourself. And if you weren't careful, there would be tons and tons of, um, you know, viruses everywhere because people would just click whatever they see and notice that the security, whatever antivirus they use, didn't protect them in the end. So, yes, antivirus is needed for basic protection, but it's not something you need to rely on. And that's the, the, the basics of, of security. Now, if we talk about those products versus um, Windows Security, what happens is that some products will focus on web protection because that's what's going to highlight your brain. You're going to see the box and say, oh, this has top-notch you know, um, web protection. And of course, there's a lot of wording on the boxes, on the product details, and it's all into the idea of trying to have you click that buy button and buy an actual antivirus rather than use the Windows Security app. And um, the thing is, is that the Windows Security app does protect you from um, pretty much at the same level of any other virus of anything online. There's various security in your computer. So first of all, if you're using Chrome or Firefox or Edge, there's already a first line security here. The browser itself, pretty much now today, all browsers sandbox the content that is in the browser, which means it's difficult for anything to actually get out of there and, and infect a machine and that's why we apply security updates to the browsers uh, to make sure that that stays top notch. Uh, Windows also has something called Smart Screen. Smart Screen in Windows is simple. It's a way of checking everything that you do online, downloads, and so on, and preventing you from going either to websites that aren't correct and actually if you go into your Windows security app in Windows 10 or Windows 11 you have app and browser control features one of them is reputation based protection and that is part of the smart screen it's part of all the things that happen in the background that look at what actually are you doing online and if we spot you're downloading something we don't know something that's like you know weird something that might look malicious in some way, or you're in a website you shouldn't be, uh, there's protections that will pop up there and tell you, well, that website isn't secure. You shouldn't be there. Um, you know, actually, you know, just block it, things like that. So it checks not just the browsers, but any app that actually has an inbound, outbound protection or connection to the internet, sorry. So there's a lot of these little things that actually um, work in here. And that will, of course, protect you as much as any other antivirus. Some of them will uh, play on the uh, internet protection because they will add a, uh, in your browser, they can add, of course, some extension that actually does a job at checking out stuff, checking out where you're connecting, checking out the downloads that you download. That's already done in the majority of the antivirus and including Windows security. Um, and 
I do not like, honestly, in general, any antivirus that adds a web protection for a simple reason is that the more extensions you have, the slower the browser usually gets, the more chances you have of having a browser that could crash. So minimum amount of extensions is the best, and you don't really need any extension that gives you protection. Uh, it's, it's all done already for you. Um, so whatever you use is fine, and Windows security is certainly fine in what you're going to do on the Internet. Because, once again, the uh, biggest problem isn't uh, the antivirus. The biggest problem is the user. And um, if you're not careful, you'll be bitten anyways. Whatever antivirus, whatever protection you get. And that's very important to understand. Your, what you do on the internet and everything being up to date is what protects you in the end. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.